Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're having a great day. So we're in the last section of the medicine paper. So we've done the Western Front and we're going to go into the bulk of it, which is about medicine in Britain from medieval times to the present day. So I'm going to go through the three questions in this particular section of the paper, just so we're 100% clear about what is going to be asked and how do we answer it. So the first question is the four marker. So it will say, explain one way in which something was either similar or different from a different time period. So let me give you an example of what that means. So remember, we've got our four time periods. We've got medieval, renaissance, the 19th century and the 20th century. So they may say, so explain one way in which the causes of disease were different from medieval to the 19th century. So again, if that would be a very straightforward question. So you just look on the list. So in the medieval times, they believed that disease was caused by supernatural religious reasons and by the 19th century, obviously Pasteur had developed germ, germ theory, etc., etc. So just make sure in order to prepare for this question that you are 100% clear about causes and treatments for the four different time periods. Go back to my 13 to 1 playlist and there's some lot more detailed information clips there about each individual time period will give you a lot more information to help you answer this question but in the real summary that's what it is on this one slide so we'll choose say renaissance how's renaissance different to the 20th century so how is it either similar or how is it different from one time period to another okay so question four is a much longer question you can see on the mark say it's 12 marker so they will help you by giving you what they call stimulus or prompts, two bits of information to help you uh, answer this question. And I would suggest writing for about four paragraphs for this particular question in the exam. So say, for example, there was this question here. So explain why there were improvements in medical knowledge in the year 1500, 1700. So again, just make sure you are familiar with what that means. So really that means the Renaissance period. So they'll just hone into a particular section of our timeline there of knowledge. So how would we structure this question? Well, as I said, they will give you the two prompts. So they're going to give us Thomas Sydenham. So you'd obviously explain about his theory about, you know, different there's different types of diseases, um, you know, his theorization around that and the importance of the printing press in terms of communication and taking power away from the church. And you must use information of your own. So if you could bring in more information about the Royal Society and the importance of that, about scientists working together, you know, under the supervision and kind of, uh, you know, the king who was giving his kind of blessing to to their progress. And you could also include about Vesalius or Harvey there in terms of the medical knowledge. So don't just use the particular stimulus that they've given you, but also bring in your own information. And again, go back to my previous clips to find out a lot more information about that. So, and then on to the last question, which is what they call the statement question. So they will give you a choice of two questions. Generally, will be in different time periods. So make sure you choose carefully and you do get extra marks with the spag here. So this was in the 2019 paper. So they went back to medieval and they went into the Renaissance period. So again, just make sure you just don't jump in, but you take a moment just to pick the question that's right for you. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples now. So say, for example, there's this question here. So there was rapid change in ideas about the causes of illness in the 17th to the 1900s. How far would you agree with this answer? So, you know, that's quite a big claim there. So just make sure you quantify that at the beginning. So what do they, how do we mean by rapid change? So, you know, you talk about spontaneous generation, you talk about Pasteur and germ theory, obviously. So they're the two things that they're giving you. But also you would include information of your own around microscopes and the work of Koch. And, you know, bring that together. Just just make sure you're always either challenging or agreeing or disagreeing with the actual statement there. Because remember, even though there were really, you know, new and exciting ideas about germ theory, you know, acceptance by doctors around Europe and the world took quite a long time to put into practice. So, you know, there was change in ideas, but whether it was rapid or not, it's up to you to quantify that. Or there could be this question here. So the work of Nightingale was the most important development. Again, that's a big statement. The most important development in the care and treatment 
providing a hospital. So again, you talk about nightingale, you could talk about anaesthetics, you'd include about antiseptics and lista and aseptic surgery. So again, you're bringing in your own knowledge, but also obviously using the stimulus that they're talking about. And again, there's no right or wrong answer here because, you know, you could argue that she was the most important development. However, you could also argue that literally any of the others there would be, you know, absolutely perfectly acceptable as long as you are constructing a you know, reasonable and coherent argument around the answer that you're trying to do.